are to blame for their own sins because they go against Jesus Christ. So, they don't believe he's the Son of God. Most Palestinians are Muslim. That's a huge sin. To go against Jesus, to not believe, that's a huge sin. Jesus says, if you reject me before men, I shall reject you before my angels in heaven. So, if we look at the Old Testament, the, the nations that went against God and his commands and his holiness, but they were still praying to him, they were praying all the time, but he says, I will turn my ears from you and I will hear your prayers in the Bible. Because when you sin, he's righteous and perfect. You have to get humble and want the truth and to fully obey him, not partially. You can pray all you want. He's not going to listen because he's holy and he's perfect. He doesn't have to. Picture okay, didn't happen. So, uh, a couple things I want to say. The first one, like, just just, just on like a, a a current like with our current society, the Pope would disagree with a lot of the stuff you've been saying. True. That's not my main point. Um, you, I take it, want to create a better society, right? That's your goal. Correct. Which That's one? the best for you, which the true one? one. No, 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 which one? Do you want to create a better society, or do you want everybody to... If everybody follows Jesus, society will naturally be better. No, he asked me a question. But which one is your goal? Following Jesus, because then you naturally will then get the second. Okay, then, then I think you're a religious fanatic and I don't want to talk. I'm not religious, because here's why. Do you, are you, do you have a religion with your mom and dad, yes or no? Uh, I, I think that's a misuse of the word religion. But, no, see, so you, you have a relationship. You have a relationship with your mom and dad, okay? You don't have a religion with them. So I have a relationship with my Heavenly Father. I don't have a religion with him. You see? I'm not trying. You don't know what's going on in my head. You can't say that. Oh, okay. That's true. You can have that opinion. Okay, yeah. Do you have a question? Marhala. So, you said that's a mathematical proof. Okay. Of Jesus? Okay. Yeah, there's 300 prophecies of the of the Messiah in the Old Testament. What are the statistical odds that one man would fulfill every single one of them? There are 300 prophecies of the Messiah in the Old Testament. What are the mathematical statistics that only one man would fulfill every single one of them? What's interesting is we actually have a history, we have a professor, a, a, a mathematical professor, who actually tried to attempt that with just 48 of those prophecies, and he found out that it would actually be eight times greater than the amount of atoms we have in this universe. What was the mathematical I forget his name. I'd have to go back and research. What was the probability distribution function that he assumed? I would have to go back and research it. Right, right. So can you take, can you do the same, um, can you maybe critique him if you found out his, his scientific method and try to critique him and find out for yourself? No problem. I have uh, an email you'll find out on my channel. I'd love to hear from you if you could do that. Steven, so if you go on my channel, on the main channel page, you will see my email on the about page. At Art of Dream, Chicken Well, he's going to fly with me. Bro, how is he been God bless you, brother. Bro, bro. I don't even know who you are. Bro, bro, bro. God bless you, brother. God bless you, man. the rock. Jesus is the rock. First Corinthians chapter 3. Hey, so. So I think what we have here is, 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 I don't know if you guys believe that there's such thing as absolute truth. I don't know. Do you? Okay, is that a truthful statement? Wait a second. It, wait a second. What you just said. You just said there is no such thing as absolute truth. Is that statement or belief true? Absolutely. Come again? Is it a truthful statement? See what I'm saying? That's a contradiction what you just said. Yeah. If you don't believe in absolute truth, you're just saying there's no such thing as absolute truth. Is what you just said absolute truth? Okay. What are you doing? So then there is such thing as absolute truth. You just contradicted yourself. I'm not, no, no. This is called wisdom. If you live your life with that belief system, it means it's wrong. You, you need a philosophy? different philosophy. I am a philosopher, yeah. Uh, who have you read? Where are you getting your Jesus, from? he's the greatest philosopher. He rose from the dead. Who else no, fu no, listen, dude. No buddy? philosopher walked out of the grave with their wisdom. No, no, no. I, I only ask because you tried to bring in some form of a logical argument to use semantics. And it wasn't it semantics. No, 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 if you tell me there's no such thing as absolute truth, that statement is a truthful statement, Semantics right? in the sense that you're embedding your idea within language. I can say right? you're doing the same thing, right? I am. I'm not trying to say that I'm not. not a hypocrite. That's cool. We should admit it. I mean, also, hypocrisy is not really relevant within the form of an argument. But that's besides the point. Yeah, hypocrites have a circular mind in thinking, though. Yeah, but it's not relevant to what they say. But heroin addicts, that's Relevant, that's about. the key word, which means that it's not absolute, which means it's all relative. It's not It's what's, not necessarily what's absolute your, like, true. What's, what's your point? Are you a philosopher? You sound like you, you like philosophy. philosophy. Very cool, very cool. Yeah. Well, what's what, your a piece of, of a paper here with wisdom on it. Did you get a piece? I want everybody to follow you because that's the best for you. I don't want you to follow me. I want you to follow him. Yes. No, no. Does Christianity make you feel? Does it bring you peace of mind? 
Yes, Jesus says, peace, my peace I give you. But see, his peace doesn't come from the world. No, I'm not going to keep it to myself. No. Listen, if you're going to tell me to keep it to myself, why don't you do the same? Don't be hypocritical and tell me. Yes, you are. You're telling, you're telling me your beliefs that I should do what you want. But he doesn't have a microphone on here. But he is the, I'm not telling him not to do that. You can do that if you want. You have the right to. It's a free country. I'm not telling him not to do that. You're telling me not to do that. So I'm just curious. What would, like, why do you feel that Jesus was so steadfast in saying anyone who doesn't believe is what he believes, like Christianity, is, what, what word did you use? I don't want to say it right. You said, like, is, um, is a sinner and something else. No, no, I want you to say Oh, he never sinned and he rose from the dead to prove his teachings were true. So he preached about an afterlife. So where is he now? Why is oh, he's got the son. He can be wherever he wants if he wants to. He has the power. It is an answer. It's an answer that, that you don't like, that maybe it's not acceptable in your brain to your standards, but it's the truth. Well, if he's alive, then where is he? Human? Like, what no, he was in the flesh, but the Bible says that he resurrected in the flesh. So if he's a spirit, the Bible says that he's a spirit. God is spirit. Yeah, I, under, I understand that, but I'm not And you're a spirit, too. Yeah, so is he also he in you? Yeah, is he... He came to this earth in a body, but it says 40 days after he was resurrected from the dead, he was then ascended into heaven, physically. And so you think that he is is um, imposing, like, evil onto anyone who doesn't believe in him? Because you said that, they, that anyone who is not Christian or does not believe in him, such as Palestinians or Muslims, they deserve what they're getting. Anybody who chooses to sin is choosing the consequences. Anybody's choosing. So he's not he's not unrighteous. Well, the Bible says if the Bible says if they've never heard the gospel, they're going to be judged a different way. But if they've heard it and they keep rejecting it, then it's on them. They're going to be held accountable. The gospel of Jesus and they die, they're going to be judged a different way. He's righteous. It says in Romans chapter one, they're judged a different way. Is he going to come to New York? Oh, he's going to be all over me. How so? Oh, because he he's God the Son. He can, do like it. He, he can do whatever he wants. He's God the Son. You don't know so him. He's, he's all powerful. He can do whatever he wants. His he's angels. His angels are going to come too. He's His angels. Go to everywhere. everywhere. He can do whatever he wants. Everybody's going to be affected. Uh, Every be, eye shall see, my friend. Is he going to be a human scale or like a Every giant? Every eye shall see. Every eye. So you don't have an answer. I, oh, I have an answer. You don't like my answer. Well, if I see you tomorrow, I'll give you a hug, bro. Here, bro. Here. You're punch. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. See, that, that's not very loving, my friend. Here. I don't want to get arrested. We want you to, too. I think I'm good. Yeah. No, you watched this for four hours today. Why not continue on? Uh, I'd rather watch pornography. That's my interesting. If you would rather watch pornography, why did you watch us for four hours today? Why did you watch us for hours and hours today? If you think pornography is so interesting, why didn't you leave and go watch pornography, sir? Why did you watch us for three and a half, four hours today? I think I think we got your interest more than pornography. I, I'm, I'm happy that I could take your attention away from pornography and destroying yourself with your sin. This isn't stand-up comedy, man. This is the truth that's, that's, that's cutting your heart like a knife, spiritually. The Bible says in Hebrews 4.12 that the wisdom of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. It cuts the heart like a knife. And that's what happened is you're getting cut. That's why you're laughing. You're getting cut on the inside. You can't stand the wisdom of God. And, and you don't like the answers being given to you, so you say you're not giving me an answer. I'm giving you an answer. I'm telling you what Jesus said. No, I'm talking about him. I'm talking about him. No, I'm talking about him, man. I'm not talking about you. Because he just left. He's expressing it. He's expressing it. He told me that this is comedy. He expressed that with his mouth. So I'm taking what he says. So you're I mean, my goodness, so you're guys. Me your I, I mean, if somebody you're says judging. something, you're judging. correct, I am judging. Yeah, and I'm not judging. preaching not to judge. And, and I'm preaching don't. You're not judging to help. I am like, judging uh, to help. Yes, no, you're not helping. In fact, you're not bad. judging to help. You're helping people go to hell with your lies and twisting right now. So. You're trying to attack the preaching. Real Christians don't attack the preaching. Because you said I'm not helping people with my judging. That's a lie. That's a total lie. Absolute lie. And it's so it's so offensive to have people twisting my words. It's so offensive. And, and yet you guys don't want to get offended. Yet you're so quick to offend. I mean, this is hypocrisy at its finest. Right? Hypocrisy is absolute. Hey, do you guys watch YouTube? Yeah. I got a channel, check it out.
I care about you guys. You know, I, I want the best for you guys. So, so we're here to help. We're here to judge to help people because guess what? If somebody never judged me to help me, I would not be the person who I am today. I still would have been that wicked, terrible sinner who I was before. So, it, you know, it takes, when you have a child, if a parent has a child who keeps doing something wrong, they're going to judge them to help them in the hopes that they will change for the better. You know, you judge to help people out of love. That's part of being loving. You don't judge to hurt people. I'm talking about judgment, righteous judgment, not unrighteous judgment. You're supposed to judge righteously, not unrighteously. About what he said in your opinion. And what's interesting is people who, can, who condemn judging and say, who are you to judge? You just judge. Which means, who are you to judge according to your standard? That's hypocrisy. You're a hypocrite. No, you're a hypocrite. Well, yeah, you're a sinner. That's right. You're a hypocrite. But the problem is you have to repent. You have to repent from that because it's ungodly. It's ungodly. It's wrong. And it's not right. You know, you got to turn. you got to turn from the sin, guys. you got to turn from the sin. You can't stay in the sin. Heaven is not for sinners. Hell is for sinners. Heaven is not for sinners. Heaven's for saints. You can't sin and walk into God's kingdom. You use your channel at the bottom. Of course I've sinned in my past, yeah, but we're supposed to repent and turn If you like the message, make copies. We're supposed to stand. Jesus died on the cross for our past sins, not our future. Not so that we could stand sin. He died so we could go and sin no more. That's why he says, John 8, 11, to the woman caught in adultery. According to Old Testament law, Deuteronomy 22, she was supposed to be stoned to death along with the man. Did you see a child? Yeah, I served the Lord. Yeah. The Lord made you. Yeah, he made everybody. He's God. Oh, he's he the perfect you. design. Yeah, he made everybody. Oh, oh right maybe? No, no, he didn't pay. No, he, I thought you said. I thought you said made. I didn't hear you. No, he, he made me. Yeah, he made me. He made you. No, he doesn't. He, 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 he pays me with with blessings that are spiritual. He pays me with joy. He pays me with comfort, answered prayers, peace. That's how he pays. The spiritual things that last. Money doesn't last. All kinds. All kinds. All kinds. I see a miracle, bro. What? People being healed from illnesses that are supposedly from doctors incurably. No, you should get a Bible and read it. Oh, then, okay. then they don't have to argue. You oh, should get a what? A Bible. A Bible? A Bible. Oh, a Bible. Oh, okay, I quote a lot of it. I got it on my phone. You know what I mean, right? Because then you will argue for it. Yeah, well, you know, the problem is, here's the thing. If I quote a verse and they don't want to hear it, well, they're going to want to read it. You know, it's the same thing. A lot of people... Where's, yeah, where's the verse in Matthew that says pornography is adultery? Well, it doesn't say that literally. But where does it say in the Bible that abortion is wrong? Where does it talk about abortion, right? It doesn't talk about abortion. No, that was, says that abortion was is wrong. Because it's I agree with you that abortion is wrong. It's murder. I know. It's murder, right? But I'm saying, where where does it say that? In the Ten Commandments, you shall not murder. No, I know. But I'm saying, you're saying, well, where does it say is abortion is wrong? It doesn't, is wrong. But, but it doesn't, the but there's some people that don't believe that it's wrong. There's Christians that don't Correct. believe that it's wrong, too. Well, those, those are what we call fake Christians. They're not real Christ followers, because real Christians would never say it. Now, now, here's the thing. Jesus says in this verse, in, in the next verse, Matthew 5, 28, he says, if you so much as lust after a woman, you've already committed adultery in your heart. Now, is it possible to watch porn without lusting? No. What does no. lusting mean? You know what lusting means. No. Wanting, wanting, wanting it you know, more you than anything. Fantasize, you have fantasize about, you get aroused when you think about a girl. <laughs> you wanna, you know, what's it? Yeah, that's lust. You know what lust is. So, so Wait, when you watch like, porn, Wait, so I know people that get aroused possible. by men. What yeah, that's, that's lust. It's on there. But that's what he talks it's about. It's on there, lust. too. It's not a bigger sin. So, well, it's all the same. Jesus says, it doesn't matter if you do one little sin or a big sin. In Luke 13, 3, you all have to repent. So, when lust is a sin, you can't watch porn without lusting, so it's encompassed in this verse. Just like abortion is not talked about in the Bible, but it's encompassed in the Ten Commandments of Thou shalt not murder. So it doesn't have to literally be there word for word. The whole idea is found elsewhere, and it's still covered under that other idea, right? So that's yeah, you Oh no, 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 they're Jewish. Correct. That's why they want to sit here and argue. Well, I think some of their questions were genuine. Maybe not all of them, but the one. Yeah, I'm The one was intrigued. What's that? The one was intrigued. Even the last one there, he learned. He got his cart for him. I'm out of them. You you handed me one. I I did. Yeah, he was like. I think I gave it to some. Maybe I. Am I out? I'm out too, but wait, he's... wait, wait. I do have like three left. It was on the other side of my phone. You showed it to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, right. get one. Yeah, yeah. Here, I don't want to... the paper's kind of big. Well, here, so... can you take the paper?